Welcome to Fuel Your Mind, a web series dealing with all things diesel. Today we'll be talking about viscosity and oil grade. Hello and welcome to Fuel Your Mind. Today, we're gonna to talk about oil. Now, a lot of people, when they hear oil, they, they imagine something like this, something that's dark and dirty looking, like a crude that's just out of the ground. Well, what we're gonna talk about is actually engine oil before it gets like that. Nice golden color. This is what you put into your engine, and after a long time of wear, this is what you get out. So how do you get from this to this, well, you don't have to only understand what happens inside your engine, you need to understand what happens inside your oil. So let's head on over to the lab. We've got a lot to talk about today. Last week, we talked about the 70 to 90% of your oil that is base and how that base is separated into five different groups. Group one through three-ish is mineral and group three through five-ish is synthetic, meaning that it was made in a lab. Today, we're going to talk about the different properties of your oil. When you hear people talk about things like 10W30 or a different grade of oil, what they're talking about is the measurement of the viscosity of the oil. Other properties of oil include grade and pour point and flash point. Now, viscosity is the measurement of resistance to flow. For example, this is an 80 weight. This is a 30 weight. This is a 10, a five, and a zero. Viscosity is important because engine oil has to be thick enough in order to protect your engine parts, but it has to be thin enough in order to run. Now, if the oil is too thick, it won't run correctly. And if the oil is too thin, oil pressure will fall and wear will occur faster. Manufacturers actually specify the viscosity of oil that is right for their engines. And different engines require different types of oil at different viscosities. Also, different climates will require different viscosities because viscosity changes based on temperature. In cold temperatures, oils get thicker, and in hot temperatures, they get more runny. To help with the problem of temperature change, multi-weight oils were created which behave at a certain viscosity when heated and in a different way at a different viscosity when cold. When it's cold, you want a thinner oil, and when it's hot, you want a thicker oil. That is why we have something like 10W30. The numbers are a grade which measures the viscosity. This means that at a cold temperature, zero degrees Celsius, the oil behaves like a thin 10 weight, and at a regular operating temperature, it behaves like a 30 weight. The W stands for winter. Viscosity index is a measure of the difference between the weight of an oil at 40 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. The higher the viscosity index, the better, because that means that less viscosity index improvers have to be added in order to get the oil to act the way that you need it to. Viscosity index improvers often shear, which is why oils with a higher natural viscosity index are better. Another important property of oil is its pour point. This is the coldest temperature that oil will still pour, or more specifically, it is the lowest temperature at which oil is capable of flowing under gravity. This is important because it's the lowest temperature that oil still functions as a liquid. And finally, flash point. That is the lowest temperature at which oil vapors will ignite. Most oils have a flash point of 400 degrees Celsius or higher. Now this is important because if your engine somehow gets to that ridiculously high temperature, the oil will combust. And now, this week's engine segment. Today we're talking about the third generation 3.0 liter Eco Diesel. The third generation of this engine was released this year in the Jeep Wrangler, Jeep Gladiator, and Ram 1500 and is manufactured by the Italian VM Motori. It gets 22 to 32 miles per gallon and an impressive 260 horsepower and 480 pound foot. Eco diesels have unique engine blocks made of graphite instead of the usual cast iron or aluminum. Graphite is a very light material which handles high temperatures and pressures well. The lightness of the engine block is important in increasing fuel economy. The recommended oil spec of the Eco diesel is SAE 5W40 full synthetic. This 
was changed in 2016 from a specification of SAE 5W30. Why? Well, one of the reasons was due to the complaints of lost oil pressure. The importance of having the right grade of oil in your engine cannot be stressed enough. If the oil is too thick, the engine won't be able to run it through the small galleries and tight clearances. If your oil is too thin, it won't protect the engine, causing parts to become damaged and broken. It can also cause blockage in the engine from broken or damaged parts blocking the passages. The reason that Dodge originally set their oil specifications so low is because of the increase in fuel mileage that running a thin oil with less resistance gives. The oil spec was changed to a slightly thicker oil which would not lose pressure as easily. Thicker oil can help maintain adequate pressure by protecting parts from damage. As we've talked about in previous episodes, synthetic oil flows better, especially in cold temperatures. Synthetic oils also break down less, thus staying in grade longer than most oils. Staying in grade means that less damage will occur to your engine on the oil side. Such a strong yet thin oil is recommended because of the small size of the engine and its tight clearances, especially in the variable geometry turbocharger. If the engine is left unprotected by the oil, it will get damaged, so protecting against oil breakdown and loss of pressure is particularly important. There are a lot of diesel enthusiasts out there who are not happy with Ego Diesel engine's reliability and performance. For example, oil coolant dilution, where the coolant dilutes the oil or vice versa, causing problems for the diluted system. Another reported problem is fuel dilution, where fuel contaminates the oil and reduces its lubricating properties. In 2016, a recall was put out for the second generation of the 3.0 due to cracked EGR and cases of trucks catching on fire. But the third generation of this engine comes with some updates and will, well, hopefully not catch on fire. The benefits of this engine are obvious. It is a light, high-powered engine that gets great fuel economy while still having the ability to tow 9,200 pounds regardless of its small size. Despite its complications and issues, this engine is great for long distances with lighter loads to save on fuel. Wow. That was a lot of information, but it was great stuff. I'm really glad we took the time to learn today. But let's recap what we did learn. First, viscosity. The viscosity of your oil is its thickness, how easy it is to pour. Grade is the measurement of viscosity. The viscosity index is the comparison of viscosities between two oils of the same weight. Winter weight is the viscosity of your oil at a winter or cold temperature. The pour point is the lowest temperature at which point your oil will still act as a liquid, at what point you can still pour it. And the flash point is the lowest temperature at which point your oil will spontaneously ignite. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining us on Fuel Your Mind, and I really hope you come back next time. Remember, if there's anything in the meantime that you want us to cover on a future episode, please feel free to email us and give us a heads up. Thanks again, and see you next time on Fuel Your Mind.